old Starbucks job that I quit because my co-worker sucked. Welcome to Rage Kid, and today we're playing Espresso Espresso. The devs were nice enough to give me a key for this game, so let's see how it plays. It kind of reminds me when it comes to the graphics of a little game called Beans. It was very, uh... It was kind of a fun game, but it had a lot of bugs. It was a very buggy game. I wonder if this game is any better. We're in the realm of foreshadowing. I'm excited. I love these types of games. So let's press a new game. Beginning of a new cafe. What should we call your store? Uh, Apex Predator. That's a good name for a coffee store, right? What type of cafe is it? Corporate or community? Why does this matter exactly and how does it affect my gameplay? I don't know. We're gonna go for corporate because I want to make money. Next. How much will you start with? So if you get less money, you get more days. I don't know what the percentage means. Maybe it's like, is this a loan? It's not like they're explaining anything. Okay, let's go for the more money, but less days. 600 days is a lot of days, right? Next, where do you want to start? What's the difference? I, I don't know. Let's just start with Hillsville. Play. All right, the music is a little bit... What? Okay, so I went to settings because I was like, there's no sound. And the game just starts with 0% of music and the SFX. You couldn't change this in the menu. That's a little bit strange. I don't like this changed anything. I still don't. It's already starting to look negative. We're in the realm of foreshadowing. Okay, construction. What do we have here? I guess these are floors. If we hover over it, does it say? Why is it not? Did it just put it down? I don't know. Does it say anywhere how much money we have? Because I don't see that anywhere. I mean, it said it in the beginning, but it's like, okay, maybe it shows when we're... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It showed something when I was hovering. Okay, it disappeared. Um, I guess I'll go for this. And I guess I just have to put it down. There's no tutorial. Okay, I can't drag. I have to click. So we're clicking. This is very, um, this is not nice. When you have games like this, I feel like you have to be able to drag. Look how big of a play field we have. This is very annoying. Oh, I made an extra line. Well, okay. And then we have walls. Do we have doors or anything? Oh, okay. So we have furniture. All right. So here we have walls. And I'll just put down the wall here. And I'll put different wall on this side. Okay. So now I just need a door. Chair here. What is this? At the right, it says build counter tiles. Is this counter tiles? Like, is this the counter? Oh, it is. Okay. All right. So th this is the counter, I guess. So I'll just make a really long counter. I'll put down some chairs, some bar stools. Excuse me. I should have maybe made it a bit longer here. Can I... Can I still change that? I, I can't? I can select- Oh, okay, so I can drag this. And then what? Can I press delete? Oh, I can. Okay, so I can delete stuff. Not like it set that anywhere because there is no- Did it just put down- Ah, uh, just put down different tiles or whatever. There's no tutorial. So I, I don't- I don't know. I'm just doing things now and kind of hoping I'm doing it right. I'm still annoyed that you can't select stuff, but you can't- Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's put down some chairs. I, I can't move this chair around. Oh, you can zoom in though. Okay, so I can move the chair around. Oh, that's um, <clears throat> something else. So I guess we'll... Can I, okay, let's just delete. No, I want... Okay, so you can delete the floor, but you can't delete the furniture. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, devs, but why did you give me a key for this? This is this game is not finished. It's just not. This look this will look so bad for them and I almost feel bad. But at the same time I don't feel bad because like why do you give people a key for a game that's like literally unplayable? Maybe maybe it gets better once we get customers. I wonder if you can also unlock different things because if this is that like what's the point of playing this it's like one of those idle games so i also have no clue what this is i guess this is like syrup but like where do i put it do i do put it behind the counter like can i put it here i mean this is a register do i have to put it on the counter like here this is like what like a coffee barrel thing oh inspect Oh, you can make... All right. Okay. Okay, we'll make it like half bitter. Uh, the temperature. I don't know. I don't remember these things. Oh, we can call it something. Okay, we'll call it the Rage Kit. But we already put the temperature. This is so confusing. Save? Am I say? Oh, okay. Now we have four. 
Oh my god. You need to give me a sound that I'm that I'm ready and done. Oh, can we put this up? Coffee beans? Does we have zero out of 49? How do we put this up? I don't understand. Inspect? Okay. I, I don't... Espresso settings. A little bit. Steamed milk. We can't put this up. I don't... I don't get anything about anything. I'm so confused. We have to hire some- are you kidding me? How do I- okay, management. So, there's different people. This one's called John Doe, even though this is obviously Jane Doe, whatever. So, person can be an extrovert or an introvert, and I think it's best to hire an extrovert. We'll give him, like, I don't know how much money we have, so, like, okay, let's just give him 15 bucks. Here you go. And we have a support. That one can be an introvert, that's all right. And then we need a front. That one definitely needs to be an extrovert. I'll just hire you. You'll get like 17, because why not? Oh, they're already here. I don't think they can get inside because there are no doors. Maybe you just have to, can you get in now? Does this work for you? They're not going inside, they're just staying outside. But this one went in. These guys stay outside. All right. All right. Coffee. Current menu item. Okay, so I can choose here what I want to... Oh, this scroll's really difficult. So I can choose here what I want to sell. So let's start with a latte. I mean, this, is, this seems cool. Latte. And then I'll choose um, with almond milk and chocolate hazelnut caramel are these written wrongly on purpose or do they just not know how to spell things honestly with this game i don't know anymore let's do vanilla I, what's the item's name we'll call it a la from latte l from almond and la from vanilla a la la how much is it max 10 the la la latte all right irish coffee i don't even know what irish coffee is all right we'll do irish coffee with coconut and english toffee because why not and we'll call it a ir for irish a c o for coconut and then t o for english toffee and then nut from coconut and it's called Arcotonut. I want customers who are gonna try to order this and for them to be able to pronounce it because that would be hilarious. So we're gonna ask also 10 bucks for this. Wait, why is it not here? Why did it not add to the menu? Why add? Why is it not adding? Okay, let's try to make a- Why is this here now? Okay, let's try to make a mocha then. Mocha with low fat and choc- chocolate chocolate. Choc, choc. We're gonna call it... Okay, also 10. This one added. The Irish coffee didn't. Oh, let, let's just leave it like this. Okay, and now what? Do I have to wait for, for customers to come or, or what? Wait, let's put it on three times speed. I bought 12 out of 5 chairs. Why is this not good? Did I buy too many chairs? Well, I can't delete the chairs now. The game doesn't let me. The game doesn't let me delete anything. Except for the floors. See? So is the no one just gonna come by? It's a zero days. So did a day not go by yet? How does this game calculate days? I can't unselect the floor because I wanted to like click on, on this person and I literally can't because the floor is stuck. Why did this game get released? Did you play it at all? Like, did you play it at all before releasing it? Or were you just like, I don't know, like how most kids make PowerPoint presentations for school. They just make it and then they don't even test it out and they just go to class and and present their their presentation and then the powerpoint presentation doesn't work because they didn't fucking test it before they went on and then the teacher has to give them an f that's what this is this is a failed powerpoint presentation well so i guess this was the beginning and the end of apex predator <sighs> Devs, for the love of Jesus, please take your game out of the Steam store. The idea is good. Execution is non-existent at all. Please check out the game Beans if you want to play a pixel art game. Actually, don't. Because the game was really cute. Beans was a really cute game. They changed the, the art now and now it looks horrible. The old one looked way better. Just stop playing video games. Just go outside. Just go outside, apply for Starbucks or your local coffee store and then live, live the coffee life that way. Because you obviously can through video games because they can make these games properly for some reason. Anyways, like and subscribe if you like me to play more buggy games that aren't games and just failed PowerPoint presentations. I will see you guys next upload. Bye! I can't believe this is a real thing. I can't believe it.
Can I even leave? You can save the game. There's nothing to save. When you say stupid game. What? While I'm saving it, it moves? It moves when you use Oh my god, this game is something else. There's no way. And when you save, are there like 20 load things now? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's not giving me any feedback that I actually saved. Alright. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and when you press exit, you just go to your desktop. Just not to the main menu. Well, alright. 